So I promised a lot of people that I was going to make a vlog by the holidays, and I'm a couple of days off, but here it is. My name is Serena, if you don't know me, and my online handle is Kilt This. I own a kilt business that I started from the ground up while I was living in Minnesota, and I and my wife have been doing that business and making our own way uh, since 2009. I was born and raised on the Yakima Nation Reservation, a poor child from a single parent who was addicted to alcohol, the youngest of six kids. And I want to start telling my story so that other kids that are raised on reservations in the United States understand that you can leave and you can have a successful, happy life. And finding love isn't out of the question. And once you do find somebody who really loves you and cares about you, you can strive, you can exceed your expectations, you can meet your dreams, you can do all those things. I've done a lot of things in my life and just to name a few, um, I'm like <laughs> that Native American reservation kid from Res Dogs that wanted to move to LA. I moved to LA. I ended up getting a position as a personal assistant, a live-in personal assistant to a television star and lived with them in LA in Beverly Hills and from there uh, I ended up moving to different cities and one of those included St. Paul, Minnesota where I managed bands, several bands and was a promoter for several bands. Um, I've been a DJ in Seattle, I've been a promoter in Seattle uh, our kilt business helped us move to Jersey City, where we lived right outside of New York, 15 minutes from Manhattan. Um, we ended up buying a, a pull-behind trailer and a van and moved across from Minnesota to Houston, Texas, when we started our kilt business and moved to L.A., um, we ended up moving up to Seattle where I helped uh, with the homeless population there right before COVID. There's just a lot of things that I've done in my life that I think a lot of people might want to know about and understand so that people don't all think that reservation born kids don't achieve things, that they all become alcoholics or drug addicts. And I came from a really sad upbringing um, neglect, abuse, foster homes. I came from all of that and still I'm happy and living in Portugal. I'm married. I have kids. I have healthy kids that are adults now that are full grown grown ups that do their own thing. A Marine, a married husband. Uh, my life turned out pretty good. And I just wanted to make these vlogs to let other people know that it isn't all doom and gloom for reservation-born Native Americans. We can achieve things. We can reach our goals, go beyond our expectations. And that's the point of my vlogs. If you want to hear more of my stories, and uh, they will go into some details, I'm planning on posting about three times a month some of the stories from my life. Uh, next year, in 2022, I will be 50 years old, so that's a lot of stories. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon.